Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabbat fi Allah we know and understand the difficulties that we face around the world. And we know and we understand and we find confusion sometimes with how to practice our Islam. Because sometimes you find problems even between Ahl Sunnah, that you find differences of opinion. And really, the only way to have a means and a way of dealing with that fitna and infighting is through ilm, is through knowledge, Islamic knowledge. And the reason I say that is because ilm, ilm yafid al yaqeen, that knowledge it ascertains certainty. And knowledge gives you a way to deal with things. How? Because knowledge gives you insight, it gives you what you need and the tools to distinguish between haq and batil between truth and falsehood or truth and falsehood and it gives you the tools to escape from fitna and that's why it's knowledge of kitab Allah wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah bless us with that ameen ya rabbil alameen the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when talking about the fitna or talking about the differences he said وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِ وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِ فَسَيَرَى اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرًا that whoever lives after me will see many differences. They'll see a lot of differences. This is what we can say. We can say this very simple from the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. How do we deal with the fitna that we see with our brothers in the UK and the brothers in America and all the fitna that's between the Salafi'een, between Ahl Sunnah? How do we deal with that? It's overwhelming, especially for the Shabab that are newer to the, to the methodology of the Sunnah. Minhaj al Haq, Minhaj al Salaf al Saleh. How do you deal with it? It's confusing. It will make people leave the deen, even. Some people leave the deen because of the confusion. Some people, they leave the Minhaj of the Salaf because of the confusion. The Prophet وسلم, said, You're going to see many differences. And then he gave us a prescription which we need to practice. He said, so therefore, it's upon you my sunnah, meaning you have to follow the sunnah. And the way of the rightly guided khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een. And have taqwa. Because, athamarat al-ilm taqwa one of the benefits of Islamic knowledge is that you have taqwa, that it increases you in Iman, it increases you in God fearfulness, God consciousness, that it helps you to practice better, it helps you to do the, be more obedient to Allah and leave off the muharramat. That should be the thamarat al-ilm, al-amal thamarat al-ilm, that deeds are the fruits of knowledge. So, by seeking knowledge that can prioritize 
how to deal with the fitna. When you hear that two of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah are having some uh, something between them about an issue, about an individual, about a hukum, a ruling on this or ruling on that or ruling on an individual, do does it does it require that we jump into every fitna? No. But it requires for us, if you have the tools, then maybe you can even look into the issue. If you don't, then fear Allah as much as you can. And don't immerse yourself in the fitna. So that's one of two ways. Either you have knowledge to where you have enough knowledge where you can at least look at the differences to see who bi'idnillah is, is more correct and closer to the dalil, the evidence. Or you don't have enough knowledge, and in order to avoid the confusion, you keep silent and study. Bas. That's an easy way. And bite it with your molar teeth. Cling to it with your molar teeth, meaning the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who truly cling to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and may Allah bless us all with ilm al-nafiyah wa rizq al-tayibah wa amal al-muttaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam